Today I've got another, actually three mystery boxes from the company That Spider-Man Booth, who does comic book mystery boxes. Got three of them. Let's see what I got. Let's do this. So these three boxes, I think, on the top of my head, I think they were $25 a piece. They, they might have been $30. Something like that. $25, $30 bucks a piece. If you buy more than two, your shipping becomes free. So I bought three. You know? Why not buy in bulk? So the last time I purchased from this company, I actually hit like a thousand dollar comic. I ended up getting out the Daredevil number one from, what year was it, 1960 something, I think? 40 something, 60 something. But yeah, I actually sent that off to CGC to be graded already, waiting for it to come back. It's gonna take a while because grading comics isn't like a fast process. So pretty much these mystery boxes, they guarantee your value and most people from what I see get more than what they paid. There we go. Packaging is good on this. So here's the first one. That's the front of the box looks like. I feel like Peter. Back of the box. And in here I think there's like what five comics I think. And there are a possibility of some grand prize top grail to get out. Okay, here we go. First one. Top one's awesome. They just paid for the whole box, I think. And pretty much your your main hit, they always put the price on the uh, the cover of it to let you know kind of what the value is. And this one's valued at around $25. So it looks like this is a variant cover for Spider-Man. That's neat. Here we got the Amazing Spider-Man number 401. Looks like from 19... I can't tell the year. That's a cool cover. Look at that cover. That cover is extremely neat. Next, Saga, chapter 43. I don't know much about this comic series. You don't know too much. Pretty cool, though. Then we've got, oh, this one says, this one's worth $15. We got Transformers Unicorn, issue number six. It's a recover, it says. Okay. And then, oof. This one, they say it's worth 70 bucks. I'm not sure which comic that is right there. They're saying that one's worth like 70 bucks. Dang. So, looks like I got three out that they valued like the resale values on them. So these two are 40, this one's 70. So these three, they're valuing this mystery box, just these three comics at a $110. Wow. So this first one out of three I opened up, paid for everything. That's crazy. And then these two, I'm sure just some common comics, probably between like five, 10 bucks a piece. So wow, that first box, it could be worth about a $120 box. That's really good. That was a good box. Next. Let's see what we got in this one. Yeah, so far I purchased from this company twice. I've been impressed. I mean, that first box didn't have a top grail in it, but I got some pretty nice comics out of the first box. That's, that's impressive. So if you're a comic book collector and you want to expand your collection to get out some more expensive comics, I think I found a good company for you to do this for. Here we go, box number two. Try not to look. The first one, I, I peeked at the top one. This one, we're gonna keep it upside down so I can't see them. Here we go, here's the one on the bottom. Show you first. We got this one says worth 40 bucks. Ooh, the Infinity Gauntlet. Number one. Yeah, that's 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 a good one right there. That's a good one. So this one I think came out, yeah, in like what 91? That's awesome. So I'm a huge Marvel fan, so I will happily keep this one. I'll probably actually get it graded too. It looks really good condition. 
just from right here. They're buying this thing at 40 bucks. So this is the Infinity Gauntlet, number one in the series. So the whole Infinity Wars and then Endgame, pretty much this comic book was like, from what I understand, it's like, you know, tells about the comic part of it. So that's, that's awesome right there. With Thanos with the glove on it. I like it. Next comic. Suicide Squad, number one. I like this one too. Number one. I'm not sure what year this came out, but that's awesome. Here is a number one issue. That's a good one. Next. The Amazing Spider-Man, the new Iron, Mary Jane, the new Iron Spider. Second printing, number 15. Cool cover though. I like that cover. That cover is neat. Oh, should have showed you first. Next comic, Oblivion Song, Robert Kirkman. Oh, he's a part of The Walking Dead. I don't know much about this one, The Oblivion Song. This is issue number one. This is the first issue of, looks like a new series that Robert Kirkman is a part of. That's a good one. And here is the fifth one. Hmm. Obviously, it looks like it's Spider-Man. There's a little Spider-Man thing. They send, they're buying this thing at $30. So, let's see. These two right here, the Infinity Gauntlet, is saying it's worth $40. This one is saying it's worth $30. So, these two, these prices on these from my boxes so far that I've had, these prices are pretty much spot on. So, these two are worth $70. So, then these three will be just like common books at probably $5, $10, $10 bucks a piece. So we're talking this box right here is going to be close to probably about $100, maybe $90 to $100. That's a really good return on value right there again. So the first two boxes, I have over $200 so far return on value. I've gotten over double my money back already. And there's one box left. So this is fantastic. I will be buying some more from this company, that's for sure. Wherever they give you a ton of value back, for your money okay one on the back first one what is it oh cool we got a venom this is worth about forty dollars not sure which one this is exactly but a forty dollar comic I that pays for that entire box is right there that's awesome second comic X-Men, giant size, 275th issue. Looks like April 1991. Wonder if this has any uh, first timers in it, first appearance or not. I have to look that one up, find out. Next. Oh, we got the Saga again. Chapter 43, so I got this one out twice out of uh, three boxes. Saga. Fourth one. I'm drawing a blank of who that is. Is that Mary Jane? Like the Spider Girl? It says we're $25. That's pretty good. And the last one. Box number three. What we got? The Immortal Hulk. Hulk number one. Well, that's awesome. It says it's worth about 20 bucks. So the three comics that have prices on them together, these are worth 45 85 these two commons five ten bucks a piece so once again this this third box is worth about a hundred dollar box again wow that's crazy so i think out of all three boxes i got easily return on value probably upwards of what three hundred dollars that's really good i'm actually gonna look up this x-men just to make sure it's not like a first appearance of somebody it looks like this isn't anything special Looks like it's it sells for like I said it's probably like a five ten dollar comic it sells between like five and ten dollars that's kind of what I figured the ones that aren't already priced with the like the value of them will be about five to ten dollar comics so yeah all these together are worth around three hundred dollars so that's fantastic so out of this box my favorite one though was the Infinity Gauntlet one that came out of can't remember which box it was now though. 
that came out of the second box. So that one was my favorite one out of all three boxes I got. Was the Infinity Gauntlet number one with Thanos on the cover. That one's really cool. Yeah, that one that was my favorite. So I think overall for the value, this is fantastic. You can't beat the price on this whatsoever. The first box also had the most value in it from what the label said. I think it had the most expensive comic in it too. Yeah, it had this one that was worth $70. It priced down out at 70 bucks. So you wanna see some more videos just like this? Give me a big thumbs up. I have three more mystery boxes coming in from this company that should be here probably within a week or so. So hopefully I get some big out of those too. I'll see you next time and I'm out.